teach y'all how to grind the fastest way. Won't grind any stand the fastest way on Stands Awakening. So first off, you want to be in a private server. And you're going to want a vampire mask. Can't really show it in my hand. But yeah, you want the vampire mask. Then, th this is the hard part. I wouldn't use the vampire mask yet. You want a, I guess a somewhat fast stand for right now. But, basically, you want to try to get Pot's Diary. Because if you use Pot's Diary on Vampire Mask, you get the fastest moving uh, stand, which is Sonic. And it's not really a stand, it's just you. As you can see, I'm using it right now. Uh, I don't recommend using that um, hell arrow on it to get the uh, Sonic.exe, but it's, uh, I think the Sonic.exe may be faster, but I don't know. I know it's not better for PvP, but you want something that is super fast and decent for PvP if you're, um, trying to get stuff back, or not trying to get stuff back, but f like fighting over stuff. Basically, once you get Pot's Diary, you're gonna use the Vampire Mask, and then you're gonna use Pot's Diary. Luckily, I had one in my, um, bank when I got the Vampire Mask, so it was pretty easy for me. And then, he, okay, so, I don't know if pe some you'll know about this, but, if you go over to the this place, and you talk to Tim, you can buy the ticket, which is which um, makes you go to the ticket place. But which is the farming to um, area? That's not actually the best way to get there with the sonic stand if you find the corner of the map that's directly across from the cave which would be this corner let me head over there yeah, this corner has nothing on it it's next to the lake it doesn't have anything there there's that on that corner there's the waterfall on that corner and there's um the cave on that corner So basically, after that, you're going to want to use G and then F. And if you go and shift lock and hold down um, S, you begin to do this glitch where it basically flies. And you can literally fly over to this island, which is the farming island. No money required. You can just fly over to this island. And you can undo G, and bam, you basically just got here for free. And you can get anything here, other than, um, Solar Diary, I think? Yeah, Solar Diary was removed, and, um, I don't know what that one is. I think Dio's Skull. Yeah, it's a skull. Uh, I don't know what that one is, either. But, but yep, yeah, literally, um, I think I got at least a hundred arrows in two minutes by just doing this. That's a hundred stands. Like, okay. Uh, two more runs around and we'll get my inventory. So, my inventory alone, not including my, um, hot bar, I guess, has this much real caca caca fruits and arrows. It's way more 
than you could get without this stand. And it costs no money to get here with this stand. See, using this, I'm at 20k right now. Haven't bought a ticket in a while. And I've been just grinding like this. Now I could easily get the best stand if I just sat here and grinded all night. Because I could probably get everything that you need. Which, um, the best stand is, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of the Dio stands. I can check right now. the Hold on, I don't know the name but I know what it looks like oh, I keep on going to the wrong trello okay so value PvP tier list, okay. Okay, so Dio's The World is the best stand for PvP. You need to use Dio's Skull in the World Over Heaven. And to, to get The World Over Heaven, you need to use Dio's Diary on The World. Which is obtained by the arrow with a 2% chance. So, having this much arrows and Rukaka fruits, you could easily get the world. And then all you need to do is uh let's see, where where's the where's that? All you need to do is get Dio's diary and you get the next one. And then you just need to grind for Dio's skull. This is definitely the best stand for grinding. So I'd probably, I'd put it in the, um, stand holder guy if I were you. Because it's just so good for grinding. I could s sit here forever and do this and probably have at least three Dio skulls. Wait, no, you can't get Dio skull from this, but you can get Dio diary. Can you get Dio's Skull? Okay, you can't get Dio's Skull. But like, oh yeah you can. It's a 1 in 100 chance every 60 minutes. If you just sit here, you can get the best PvP stand. And it takes no time, well, a lot of time, but no money. You could probably get a bunch of money if you do this. I don't know. I haven't tested it um, in here. I don't know if you can get banknotes here. Let's see, though. This video is 8 minutes long. And look at my inventory. And, like, 4 of those minutes was... Um, like, saying what to do to get this stand, and how to get here with it. And you can go back without resetting. It's super simple. Honestly, I think the best stand, because it's also pretty decent for PvP, the barrage goes on forever. And it does, I think, one damage every hit, but it goes on forever. And it hits super fast. Like, look at how much it's gone, how long it's gone on. I've been just holding it down. I could honestly grind while holding this down.
it's still going. Okay, that, so that was, I let go of it, of course, because, um, I, I bet it can go on infinitely, which I haven't tested any of their stands since, I, um, like, barrages so infinitely like that. So I don't know if any stand can do that, but it hits so fast, but I think it's worth it. And, um, it's R, not that strong. T does nothing. Y spawns a bouncer, which is incredibly stupid. It's like, it's stupid, anyone can jump on it. Uh, F makes you go super speed like this, and it's also the way to fly. G is, of course, your um, idle, at which you can fly with it using the F. H, I actually don't know what it does. J does nothing, K does nothing, L does nothing, Z, your super jump, X is your block, C is like, um, I guess it's another way of super speed, because I'm going pretty fast right now. Yeah, but basically if you just spam C, you can fly, watch. Uh, but V does nothing, B does nothing, N does nothing, and M does nothing. Well, other than that. It's a rundown of this stand, and it's amazing. While the stand used to be a lot better for PvP, it's still pretty good. I'm just gonna reset the, the show how easily it would be to kill somebody with just the barrage. I could also showcase the damage. Which of course these dummies don't die, so that's kind of annoying. But look at how fast it's hitting. And it does a, um, I think, 0.1 to, oh, okay, so the damage, um, increases every hit. But it's hitting so much that even if the damage didn't increase every hit, you could still hit get so much damage onto one person. The R, I missed, of course. The R does 2.25 damage and flings a pretty good amount. Y is, of course, the bouncer, and it bounces anything other than, like, actual objects. I keep forgetting that I and O is not a move. Um, F is already the super speed. G is the idle. H is that. I don't know what it does. Maybe it's like some... Oh, wait, no. It's that speed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, see, look. If you just go in there for a little bit and then come back out, bam. You can get literally everything here. There's so much stuff here. Like, say you are there for a few minutes, come back, and there's all this stuff to just pick up. There's no telling what you get, what you will get. But I know there's a crazy amount of stuff just here. Let's see. Look at all this. I have Dio's Diary, which I found randomly. I don't think it's that rare, let me check. Yeah, it's definitely not that rare. Um, let's see, it, Samurai Diary is definitely the most common. Dio's Diary, 
which is very useful if you're going to need a world over heaven, which is what you need for the best stand. Um, and then of course you need the Dio Skull. If you use it on, um, uh, the world over heaven, you get Dio's the world. Wait, no, that's not the right one. By using it on, hold on. Okay, so, um, a rundown on Sonic. Yeah, so his destructive power is B++, which would be his damage. His speed is SS, and his durability is A-. Oh, Sonic.exe is a lot better. Um, yeah, his destructive power is S+, his speed is SS, and his durability is A-. After 8 minutes of holding down the barrage on Sonic.exe, he has a like, special aura. His, um, Y is called Blood Suck. It sucks the target's blood, healing him a bit and allowing Sonic to follow up with another move. T, you're too slow. Sonic.exe teleports behind of, of the enemy of over the cursor, dealing 45 damage. Super Sonic.exe. Sonic.exe goes super. This gives you the ability to run quickly. You gain a damage passive hitbox around you. And your barrage damage is buffed. Wait, hold on. So if I look at Sonic, does, is it the same thing for it? Yeah, okay, so F, supersonic form. This user floats up in the air before unleashing all the power it has, got allowing it to dash at high speed. This move will allow 10 damage to those. This move will deal 10 damage to those hit. It hits similar to the drill move um, OMT has. So if I use if I use F, which gives me super speed, then I run into something. Yep, it does damage. So that means if I do G with it, it does even more damage. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It doesn't do even more damage, but it still does damage, which is stupid. Because you can just go do it. It's kind of like Mochi Roll in um, Anime Mania. Except it's infinite, basically. And it doesn't do nearly as much damage. Uh, it's easy to get stuck in places with this, though. <laughs> I am stuck in a tree right now. I think that's it for the showcase, though. Um, the way to get the... Um, the grin, the best. Um, yep. Okay, uh, 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 like, subscribe, comment video ideas, and, uh, be cool.